So what we have is I had to go and get some new hops. So uh, I got Pearl, I got Fuggles and WGV. And what we're looking at is f for next year, really. Um, so uh, we'll get these in, uh, which you'll see later on. We've got a bit of footage. So um, yeah, they look healthy. Won't be this year, but um, it's a lot better than what didn't work. So I'm happy with that. Of all these dry yeast that I've got, I kind of decided that we would go with the, the Mangrove Jacks Liberty Bell yeast. And um, yeah, I think it'll be a winner. I had a Protoflock tablet. I didn't have a Protoflock tablet in my last uh, brew when I did the clone. But I've got some now. So that will go in at the end of the boil. Chemsan is uh, the sterilizer we're going to use. And uh, I really can't fault that stuff. I need to get a new one shortly. Uh, hops we went with. We went with Pearl. That's um, Pearl and Mosaic for this brew pearl for the bittering mosaic for at the end of the boil um, i still had some leaf so the pearl i've used is actually leaf and not these pellets but the mosaic is pellets and they went in uh, at the end of the boil and i got them from mort miller uh, but can't get leaf for for love or money right now so uh, this is a quick brew so what I've gone with is uh, extra light dry malt extract and I also went with some uh, wheat malt extract uh, which is about 200 grams and um, this is a kilo of, uh, of the malt extract but uh, yeah malt extract wheat which again came from malt miller strangely enough not that they pay for my brewing <laughs> but there's five liters of water in the boil here this is my von chef here's the protoflock there's protoflock um there's the pellet and there's the leaf and i used the leaf at the opening of the boil and uh, yeah that's the wheat malt dry extract and um, yeah, I used a kilo of initially kilo of spray extra light and some multidextrin went in. And maybe it, there was a touch of brewing sugar, but not a lot. Um, just to get my numbers up, really. And uh, yeah, there we go, really. I think that's all. On oh, that bit, you need to see there will be some editing, obviously. And uh, come on, yeah. Overall, this is a, a all planned to be a simple brew day. Simple brew day. Can't fault the von chef. Uh, there's the garden. The garden is uh, coming along. It's got more lights in it than Blackpool. Uh, yeah, that was uh, Moon on the Square from Belgium. Uh, you had wood chip. Ah, this wood spark crap. I had to get rid of it. It's really poor. So we've dumped that now, most of it. We've got another bag full to get rid of. There's the hops now in buckets. Um, good soaking. Quite happy there, I think. They all seem so far so good, so keeping fingers crossed on that for next year we'll see where we go um that's my pepper plant bloody thing something's been eating the peppers there's my tomatoes and uh, nothing wrong with them really and my fruit trees my fruit trees are doing all right uh that's the cherry tomatoes and some flowers and an onion and a carrot that's all i've got left there there's a barbecue area which i'm quite happy with still tidying that up and um yeah if i can ever get 
let uh, any people <laughs> ever to visit after this is all done we'll go from there with it but what I'm going to do is put the dry in this bucket this bucket's been cleaned and the wheat malt has gone in as well then we're going to add some of this hot water into that and give it a stir up that bit you ain't gonna see because I can't do it one handed. Oh, can I? Right, so that's five litres of water in there. It's then gonna end up in here. So from there to there. What I've used is this. This is Celtic Spring Natural Spring Water. It was still, and it was a pound for five litres. So I've got two bottles of that. So that's what water is going in this beer. So this is fresh five litres now going into the boil. Because don't forget I'm aiming at a 10 litre brew. Now I'm stirring in the dry malt and the wheat malt in this bucket. So when I've no lamps, nothing sticking. Oh, I've been setting it up. We started this at 12 o'clock. Um, quick brew day. It's a uh, kind of play on a California common. Uh, Kolsch, Alt Beer, it's along those lines, I'm, I think as you saw earlier in my montage of bits, that uh, I ended up using the Liberty Bell, or I'm going to. I do have some liquid yeasts, and I do have this, which I was thinking of throwing in. Um, from our last brew, which was the um, Vacant Gesture Brew Day. Um, I just don't know really. Oh, but uh, I've got this. I have an idea that I want to try and make this beer. I haven't even tried it, but. Um, they use chestnut flour, via Corsica, uh, the French. Well, that's good enough for the boil, so... Um, let's get this. I'll get that, and then I'll go in. Just coming up now for the boil. It's boiling. Let's see if we can show you something. Sometimes you can just kick this little bit. Sometimes you can do it. Sometimes you have to get it off the heat. Um, that one I had to get off the heat. So, 
pops are in and uh, all under control. Anything else, um, cooking up. So, there we go. This is Reg and Doris. Interlopers. Nothing cuter than that. At the end of the day, that's the beer. It's a little under, it's about 4.8 as we sit right now. Um, it's cloudy right now, but uh, get some hoppage on it. Carbs up, um, settles down. It's going to be quite a nice beer. And did it when the whole thing took an hour. That could be a tasty beer, but we'll see. Um, all in all, it was a very simple brew day. I had lots of interruptions with this brew day. And um, I might have a chat later and stick it on the end of this thing. But uh, all in all, cheers. Not a bad beer. So in that bucket, we've got about 16, 15 to 16 litres of beer. Um, I'll come back and see if anything happens with it later on in the day. Um, you'll be the second people to know, maybe third. You tell me I know. Right, here we go. Um, there you go. <laughs> it's bubbling away. Um, this is the day after the brew day. And, uh, yep, quite happily bubbling away. So we'll see what happens in about a week, five days. And we'll have a check on it. I haven't decided if I'm dry hopping it. Um, so, um, we'll see in uh, about three days okay i think that's where we are might get one more bloop might get one more bloop okay thanks for watching that and uh well we'll see you soon